Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this quick video, I want to share with you a small project which I've been experimenting with in the past couple of days. Even though this quadcopter looks like an ordinary whoop, I've added an electromagnet on the bottom and by using the Fierce FEB Race Pit Mini flight controller, I'm able to control it using an auxiliary switch. Now let me share this device in action. So first, let's plug in a battery. And now I can control the electromagnet using this auxiliary switch. Now it's turned off, so the electromagnet is not working. And after turning it on, as you can see, now it's working. While testing it out, I tried to fly around the house and pick things up in order to move them around. But unfortunately, I wasn't very successful. And that's because this electromagnet is a little bit too heavy for this quadcopter. And second of all, it's a little bit hard to orient the position of the quadcopter because the electromagnet is located on the bottom of the quadcopter. And it's a better idea to use this electromagnet on a bigger quadcopter and point a second camera on the bottom of the quadcopter, which will enable you to navigate and see your landing spot. In case you would like to mount a second FPV camera on the bottom of your drone, you can use the VFLY CAM switcher, which is a pretty simple device that enables you to switch between two FPV cameras using an auxiliary switch. And if you'd like to learn more about it, you can check out my review over here. I guess you probably wonder what are the lifting capabilities of this small electromagnet. It's rated to lift up to 3 kilograms, however, it is heavily dependent on the substance that is going to be attached to the electromagnet. So these scissors, for example, are made out of stainless steel and the whole quadcopter weighs about one kilograms. So let's try to lift it up. And as you can see, there are no issues at all. And I can estimate that using stainless steel, you'll be able to lift using this electromagnet about 1.5 kilograms. Now, in case you would like to do a similar project and add an electromagnet to a drone, I think that the easiest option is to use the Race Pit Mini or full side flight controllers since they integrate a built in power switch that enables you to turn on or turn off the video transmitter via an auxiliary channel. So, basically, what I've done is instead of powering up the VTX using the Power VTX and Run pads, which are located over here, I powered up the electromagnet using these pads and I have removed this soldering joint. So, now the electromagnet is controlled using the user one switch. Here you can see the configuration of beta flight. So basically what you need to do is to assign an auxiliary switch to the user one mode and now you'll be able to control it after assigning the designated range where you want the electromagnet to be turned on. So for example, now it is turned off and now it is turned on. Another option which I have yet to test is to use this type of component that enables you to control the electromagnet using PWM signal and if you'd like me to test it out, Please let me know and I will try to make it happen. In terms of battery consumption, when this quadcopter is powered up using a 3S battery and the electromagnet is turned off, the ampere draw is about 0.27 amperes and after turning on the electromagnet, it adds about 0.55 amperes. I would love to hear your thoughts about applicable uses for this type of device. Personally, I think that it can work best in order to rescue other drones and also a friend of mine told me that you can use it in order to tip delivery couriers because unfortunately currently we need to practice social distancing. As always, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.